What's up everyone, this is Cybernide, and today I thought I would do something kind of random because I went to a local store called uh, Entertain Mart, which I think in other regions is called uh, Vintage Stock, and I picked up two of these Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, card bricks. So basically it's supposed to be a bunch of random Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in these. Uh, what was it like? Yeah, it was uh, $7.99, $8 for one of these, and it was buy one, get one. So... I picked these up, and I was thinking, maybe I'll make for kind of a fun, random video. We'll see if we actually made our money back. I mean, $8. Let's see. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to do. I, I, of course, saw that, you know, the first card we get in each of these is actually holographic. And you never know, with a lot of older cards coming back because of the new Master Rule Revision, all that stuff going on, I was thinking, it might be worth a gamble to see what we can get. I mean, there's been a lot of cards that were really cheap back in the day that have gone up in price, and maybe the people that put these together, you know, went by some old prices and stuff too. I don't know, but that's what I'm hoping for, basically. So, anyway, let's open these up and uh, see what we get from them. Also, let me know if you guys want to see more of these in the future, because I always see these, and I'm like, you know, that'd be really fun to uh, make a video on and just kind of see, you know, <laughs> was it worth it or was it not worth it kind of thing. So, let me know if you enjoy it. Something kind of different, too. I'll be careful. I don't like it when they put rubber bands on cards here. Let me do it like this. Hate taking them off camera, but I'm trying not to also cut myself whenever I'm using my knife uh, on uh, on that plastic. Anyway, starting off, we actually, of course, got the holographic, which is Ghost Trick Ghoul. Kind of cool to see a Ghost Trick. That's one of the main reasons I picked that up, honestly. Let's see, what else? Got some fire formation uh, backfire. Hadn't seen that in a while. That was kind of interesting. Remember that back in the day? See, a couple of ninja cards. Phoenixian Seed. Well, I hadn't seen that in a while. Raging Battle, like first edition, too. What else we got? Oh, man. Uh, it's a pretty good mix of older cards, for sure. Call the Haunted. <laughs> That's always good, I guess. Hero Blast. Oh, they. How far are they going to be upside down? There. Maybe I did that right. We'll see. <laughs> Compulsory Evacuation Device. Bottomless Trap Hole. Bug, or bite bug, excuse me. Uh, oh, that was from the starter deck, I guess. Huh. I was about to say, I don't remember that card. Yeah, I think that's what that's from, too. Silent Insect. Man, that's an older card, too. Cop on a lead attack force. Big Shield Gardener. There you go. That's pretty cool from the uh, Duels Pack Yugi. Hoping maybe we got another Hollow or something, though. Sand Moth. Sacred Crane. Remember trying to hunt those down back in the day. Even one of the Raid Raptors. Pretty interesting, actually. Herald of Creation, another one of those. Uh, Super Polymerization. Well, there you go. That might actually be pretty good. I don't know. No, it's been in the newest structure deck and everything, too. It's had a few reprints, Super Poly. But either way, that's a good card. Just a shame it has a bit of damage, as you guys can see right there. They're used cards, so you never know. Mimic. Man, a few of the Mimic. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Let's see, Comrade Sword. What else we have? Invasion of Flames. Haven't seen that one in a while. Fluffle Cat as well. <laughs> Red Dustin. A few of those. I remember the Dustin cards being kind of tough to get, so maybe that's good we got a couple. Gravekeeper's Watcher. Guess we'll do like this there. Have uh, Wild Heart. Oh, there we Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it, it's been reprinted too, that hero structure deck. But back in the day, if I would have got this a little bit earlier, that would have been amazing, right? Uh, a material Shadow Mist. That is still really good. It's a first edition as well. I don't know the price on it right now, but that might be really good to have. Heroes are doing very well lately. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Woodsman as well. <laughs> Heat and Necro Shade. Oh, we got one of the Mass Heroes too, uh, Koga. That one's pretty decent. I don't think many people run that one though, unfortunately. Still cool. Mass Change. I can go with that. Sparkman. I'm always a fan of heroes, so they kind of they kind of got me right there with that nostalgia anyway. But there are some very useful ones here. Uh, Tiger Dragon. For a second, I thought that was actually a hollow. I just saw the holographic writing, for, you know, on the name. Keeper of the Shrine. Pretty decent card. Oh, uh, White Knight Dragon. That's actually rare. And, oh man, we got a uh, Dark Magician of Chaos. Oh, that seems random. That must have been from... Um, yeah, that's from the Legendary decks. Well, there we go. <laughs> that's really cool. It's, it's too bad it's not like the original printing, right? Now, that would be insane. Uh, I'll still take this, so it's, you know, it's a uh, Dark Magician of Chaos. Sure, I'm not going to complain. No, I don't know. Maybe the rest of these are upside down. Have a photon stream destruction. I haven't seen this card in a while either. Another hollow. 
Anything else on that? Dang. Okay. This has been pretty decent. The first part was kind of meh, and I was hoping we'd get something. Contact out. I've actually checked that card before, and it is kind of tough to find. I don't know if it's still that way, but whenever I was uh, building Neos Heroes, whenever they got their newer support, was it Savage Strike? Yeah. Um, that common is actually kind of short printed. So that's pretty good. It is, yeah, it's a first edition from Gladiator's Assault. So that might actually be kind of pricey. Or enough to help us out, I would say. Strike of the Monarchs. Oh, well, we got some different Monarch cards. Back to the Wall, Battle Mania. Some Crystal Beast cards, even Madolce. And yeah, that was actually pretty decent. That might have been around $8 or so just by itself. I, I don't know. We'll see. And uh, let's go to this other one, too. See what we have here. That's what's kind of fun on this. Again, I don't really expect to strike gold <laughs> on some of these, but I just think it'd be fun to just see what we can get. I'm trying to be so careful with that. Again, I hate this kind of packaging. I wish they would do something else because rubber bands and all that kind of mess up the cards. I'm not noticing it too much, but I'm never a fan of that. All right, we're just going to cut these in half because I don't think I can hold them all at once. Have uh, one of the Aqua Actresses. Obviously, you guys saw that one earlier. Oh, Vote on Satellite. That's pretty good. I think that's from... Yeah, that was from one of those tins. Zexel tins. That might be kind of tough to find. Dimension Wonder. Same on him. Blackwing uh, Revenge. Oh, Ayers uh, Rock. Sunrise. Okay, we're just going hollow after hollow on this one. Parasycroid. Pretty decent on that. Black Skull Dragon. What is that from? Oh, that's from uh, Joey's World. Oh, that's pretty cool. Weird to see is a rare, but I'll take it. One of my favorite cards in the game. Gold as well. Tyrant Dragon. That was a really good start for this. And of course, too, XYZ uh, Dragon Catapult. Always going to be an old favorite. There, Super Heavy Samurai. Oh, we got Silva, of course. You got gold, you might as well get Silva. Balloon Lizard, always thought that one's kind of funny. X Head Cannon. Have uh, Lip Barrel, Giant Rat, Subpay, pretty interesting ones. What we got here? Oh, we have, uh, oh yeah, that Parasite card. Then also Tuning Magician. That's pretty decent. That's first edition too, I'll take it, sure. Uh, Red Eyes Black Chick. I, didn't they change the name of that one technically now or something? I know it's never counted as a Red Eyes card, of course. It's kind of cool to see though. Recover. And uh, we actually got Absolute King uh, Back Jack. I... Don't know. I think that was only in that uh, premium gold. So, what is that? Premium gold 2, I think. So, that might be pretty good. I don't know the price on that at all off the top of my head, but that's a pretty good card to get. I think it's only been printed in that. Oh, uh, number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. Really good. Then also number 36. We're getting more hollows from this one. I guess that just shows the randomness of these. Only Mermels, Grandmaster Six Samurai, pretty good. Doppel Warriors, few of those. That might come in handy in the future too, because we're seeing Synchros coming back. Uh, Tomb Cyber Dragon, that's actually pretty good. I've seen a lot of people using that one. Even regular Cyber Dragons. Magna Drago. Reptilians. Supply, I remember that older card. Cover. I think it's, yeah, I think it's only two that are upside down on this one. I think it's from, like, the Fairy Structure deck. Uh, Zerato, that's from Battle Pack. Scholar's Funeral Lightning, that's pretty cool. See, Dark Magician Girl, there you go. Is that also from, um, I think that is Legendary X, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's pretty cool. I'll take that. I mean, Dark Magician Girl, sure. <laughs> it's like Dark Magician of Chaos. Yeah, I I'll always be fine with that. Super Soldier Soul. I remember that one. Dragon Ice. Even one of the Light Rays. Mega Cyber. Another one of the Light Rays. I'd kind of like to see them come back. That'd be interesting. What else, though? I'm still hoping for maybe like one more Hollow or something. Construct Museum. Light Ray. And then? Oh, uh... Oh, man, that's actually from uh, the collection. Was it Master Collection? I think that's right. Oh, that that might actually be really good to get then. I don't know. It's relinquished, obviously. So that's cool. It actually looks like it's in good condition as well. But, yeah, I believe that's the Master Collection. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's like those book 
it was like that old uh, sort of collector's edition that was like a book. I, I kind of consider them to be the first uh, ledger collections in a way, uh, where basically you would get six cards and six packs. And like, I think Exodia was in the first one. Uh, and they had like a bunch of iconic cards, basically like cover cards. So Relinquish was actually one of those. That is really good. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how rare that version of Relinquish is, but uh, that is awesome, though, to see Secret Rare, an older card like that. And like I said, it seems to be in good condition. It doesn't look like it's, you know, all beat up. What do we have on this one, too? Oh, one of the Necros, Colossalis. That's decent. I'll take that. But yeah, that might be the best card we got out of everything. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. A Blue Flame Swordsman. I haven't seen this one for a little bit. Rising Energy. Oh, there's one of the tokens as well. Oh, I'm just kind of stacking these everywhere. <laughs> there. We'll separate hollows, I guess. Sakura 2 Armor. <laughs> one of my favorite older cards. I guess we all used that card back in the day, right? And, uh, yeah, that's even, by the way, a mosaic, I think, for the Ice Barrier card. So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just something really random, and that second break of cards was actually really good. So, I don't know if we got our money back. I'll have it, you know, where you guys can see it when I edit the video and all that. So, I'll have our prices on the screen. But I feel like we did really well, especially in that Relinquish. That's probably my favorite card I got from this. But we got some really good hollows, some that aren't the easiest to find. Contact out, like I said, I remember that being, I think it was like $2 when I needed it back in the day. So I think that will help me out. I don't mind having an extra. And of course, Shadow Mist. Yeah, I, I know the structure deck has been reprinted, but that's a first edition one. So that might be pretty good. I don't know. Either way, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed. And uh, yeah, just let me know if you enjoyed this video. Would you like to see more things like this too? Let me know because I know at uh, Entertain Mart, they actually have like some big cardboard boxes just full of random cards. So I was thinking maybe that'd be fun to go through in a video or even um, like in a live stream or something. We could go through and I could talk to you guys as we're going through them or something. Let me know if you like that idea. I don't know. It's just something I was kind of thinking of to be, you know, do something kind of different, but also, you know, just fun to look through cards. I don't know. I, I enjoy it. So I was hoping you guys will also enjoy it. Again, give me some feedback. Let me know. Hit that like button, subscribe and all that too. If you have any other ideas you would like to see, of course, whether it's, you know, different pack openings, tins, whatever, let me know on that too. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. And of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.